All right, now we're into round two. I know I said in the in our vlogs and everything that we're only just gonna do one one game per round, but it's it's fucking zodiacs, and it's the first time we see it in our locals. Why not see um it being played out the entirety of it? Sure, why not? Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see who went first. He went first again. Yeah, yeah zodiacs. So. They love going first. Yeah, because they get that the uh, I guess technically kind of floodgate. Yep, ish going around. Yeah, so he's gonna normal that. Oh wow! Just Molmarat, Rapier right off the bat. Molmarat Rapier. It's Junisici, 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 Morumorato. <laughs> okay, I think he did um uses Molmarat's normal summon effect and ditches combo. C -c 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 combo breaker. All right, so he has it engraved. He's gonna go for the monkey. Then he's gonna slap twelve. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look, look, look at this. Bobby um, dropped down Maxi again. Oh, oh! What's Ro Ro gonna do? We all know how that turned out the first duel. Uh, is he gonna? Is he gonna let um his um? Ooh, that's one. His ego get in the way again? Well, that's two actually. One for. Wait, did he? No, no, no. He, he chained a, on Monkey Summon, right? No, no, no. He chained it. Yeah, on the Monkey X Y Z Summon. All right. So that's one. He, what did he go into Dryden? Yeah, Dryden. Oh, he's just gonna go straight into Dryden. He's gonna completely skip Bullhorn. Yeah, yeah. Because, because he saw what happened last time, and he's just yeah. like, "Fuck that! I won't let that happen again." I mean, he did gain a lot of advantage, and it was really impressive how he could just flood the whole field. But then he, he pretty much gave Bobby all the outs that he needed. Yeah. Yes, and now, now Bobby has to choose carefully because that Dryden could just g pop his shit whenever yeah. he wants. So now he's gonna challenge that Dryden. Now he's forcing, he's forcing his hand. He's baiting, he's baiting out the effect. Yeah, but the thing is that um, he uh, he can't if even if he pops up eccentric, he doesn't negate it because it's like mm, so that's twin twister. That's that's good, I suppose. Yeah. Now, metal foes, do they get their effects off when they're popped by your opponent's card effects? Yeah, like whenever it's popped, they get they get the add. Oh, that's good. So in that case, I mean, Dryden's effect is good if he wants to go and target the scales. I guess it could interrupt his hand, but they still go off, right? They search. Oh no 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 no! I I, I think the um the scale the pendulum ones they they pop they have to pop other ones to get the search. Not the, if the opponent pops them, they get they don't get it. Oh, then that is they can be interrupted. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the mistake. I was, I, I thought you were talking about the traps. No, no, no. I'm talking about the scales. All oh, right. If the scales, like, so let's say, um, uh, Bobby said scales with his metaphors. If Dryden pops one of the scales, do they get their effects? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, I see. Like it, it is as you said before. They are ignite 2.0. Right. You see here, he um gets a metaphor fusion set face down, and at this opportunity right now, he could, um, like. Raul well, we could just pop that fusion right now. Let's see here. Bobby opened up with that black wing again. I mean, like, I don't know how many of these black wings that Metal Full players run, but I keep on seeing it on first turn all the time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's at three. Maybe he's just been getting lucky Yeah. this match. And he's been drawing it turn one or his opening hand. Yeah. Uh. And also, it's either it's either that or the fucking Max C. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Bobby used his um uh, metaphor to pop one of the tokens and he searched for metaphor fusion. And I'm pretty sure I already said that earlier, but but I just uh, realized that right now when the dice is was turned. Okay. Now what what is Bobby gonna go into now? All right. Goes into that. Metaphor. I'm 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 apologizing ahead of time, people. Like we like, we know about metaphors, but we didn't get a ch chance to really learn their names. Right. And I'm just not all that literate when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh mechanics. To be frank, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, like I have a brief understanding about what what uh, all the meta decks kind of do. Oh, he gets um Bambuka out, and Bambuka's yeah. gonna search for Karen. Oh boy. So now the new the new engine is three Bambukus and one Kirin, right? Yeah, because three the to search. So in in a, in a way, you're almost running four Kirins yeah. instead of six. Yeah, man, they the 
there used to be six Karens, fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember when I was running the Odd Eyes Magician, I, I was going to try to shove three Bambukus in there, but I, I forgot why I didn't. I, what, what's the scale of Bambuku? Um, I kind of forgot. I'm thinking it's a kind of a low scale because I think Kieran has the high scale. No, Kieran is a low scale. A low scale? Right. Is it? No. I yes. So. I can't remember. Yeah, but the thing... I haven't it, ran Kieran in like just over a year. Yeah. and it, But the thing about Kieran, though, it's never been used for scale, so it's kind mm-hmm. of okay we don't remember what it's yeah. scale. Uh, yeah, kind of the same thing. I think I scaled Kieran a few times, but it's only because I literally had nothing else and I needed to get something on board so I don't get OTK'd or... I just needed to go for that last push to claw my way through to victory. Yeah. So, let me see here. Bob, Bob he has a card appeal. He goes into uh, Metaphor Fusion again. Fusing those guys out. Hmm. I should really take a closer look at all of the Metaphor cards. Their yeah. art is really cool. They're all just a bunch of dudes on motorcycles pretty much but in the fusion it's just them wearing their motorcycle <laughs> yeah yeah maybe this it's, it's inspired by common rider maybe because because a lot of things in Yu-Gi-Oh are inspired off of common rider like the mass heroes for example acid the most mm. and card games on motorcycles yeah okay i think he's gonna pull oh he's pulled riding driving off right now right Thank you, Bobby. So what's the attack on, on Dryden right now? Because I think he has... what What's the material on there? It, is that the... It, and it really doesn't matter because even if it's in the... Def- their defense is zero. Right, right, right. But I, I was just wondering. I wanted to see what the attack was on that. I mean, it, there's a chance... That's attack didn't really change because he detached uh, the monkey. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. I think yeah, he's... um. Wow. Well, did you just get rid of a Dryden? I think so. Yeah. How did he get rid of Dryden? I, he he bounced it from what I saw, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably that metaphor's effect. I we, oh my goodness, we really need to start reading this these cards. Yeah, at least we can kind of recognize them because even then, like we can't actually tell what cards they're using. Yeah. But we we might be able to just recognize the effects. Yeah, like even though like that's the one thing that's a bit amateur about us that we we don't read all the cards. Like I like Emmanuel says, I know all the old cards, but I kind of vaguely knows all the new one. <laughs> yeah, we are the pro scrubs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he drops his interrupted kaiju slumber. Right, and there goes the what's it called the three-headed thingy yeah it's like like thunder kaiju i, I think it's a 32 attacker yeah that, that's the biggest one i think yeah um actually no i think is the is the mecha one 33 or 30 uh i'm not completely sure myself i thought the mecha one was the big dick one yeah but um let's see here with um the metaphor fusions effect he gets another metal he gets the special summon a metaphor from the extra deck but there's a pendulum one Okay, um, they're cutting up the deck now. Let's see here. He's gonna have a look who it's an extra, just to be careful. To just Bambuku and, um, Eccentric in there. Oh man, Eccentric. Oh, you know, I actually got, I was actually lucky enough to pick one up from Isaiah, I think, a couple of weeks ago. Even for just a common, I was going for four. Which card? Um, Eccentric. Oh, yeah. Like the common is going for four? Isn't it in the, the structure deck? Which structure deck is it in? Um, I don't exactly know. Is it the DDD deck? Is it? No, no, no. Is that or, is there, or is it the, like the n- new Odd Eyes deck? I, yeah, I think it might have been that one. Because I know uh, Eccentric came out in a structure deck. Yeah. It might have been kind of like um when the first uh, Odd Eyes structure deck came out. And uh, Skull Crow Bad Joker yeah. was like a 4 or $5 card <laughs> in Shit. common. So you pretty much bought like triplicate of the deck, and if you didn't run all three uh, uh, Skull Crow by Jokers, you can sell one for about half the price of the structure deck, and that's not counting all the other support that was already worth over a buck. So yeah. by selling off like maybe five or six of the cards, you can pretty much make your money back. 
Yeah, but that was back then when you were allowed to have three school cool friends. Right, right. Now, not anymore. Now you buy the deck and you you might be able to make back three dollars. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see here, man. Rose um has not made a has not made made a move right now. He's he's really thinking. He's really thinking hard. Yeah, you can see the smoke coming out, dude. Yeah. Okay, he goes Viper. Because that face down card could be anything. Tiger Mortar? Oh, he really didn't have anything else because most people don't like summoning Viper. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, he's detaching Viper to switch it out for Omorat? Right. Rapier, I mean. Oh, whatever. It's the rat. <laughs> he, I, it, I prefer Momorat, to be honest. They're both kind of. So. I don't really like either name, to be honest. But, I mean. Momorat's better than. Rapier. Yeah. Goddamn puns. Like I like a good pun from here and there, but don't don't cram it everywhere. Yeah. Perform the entirety of performer powers are just puns, and I've already made a complaint. Like I I think this is gonna be my fifth time complaining about it on video. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe they knew that Junichi Shis were gonna be such a powerful deck. They needed to nerf its name. <laughs> <laughs> So they called their neighborhood dad to come and come up with all the the punny names. Yeah, <laughs> the, the neighborhood dads. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh yeah, I think he went into Dryden, getting rid of Bullhorn, and then getting into a, another uh, Rapier out. Right. Honestly, if you want, if you really want to run the Zodiac engine, you just need one Tigress, maybe a Monkey, Dryden, and Bullhorn, and maybe triplicate of of of, uh, of Viper and Momoret, and you're good. That's it. I think you could run Barrage, but you technically don't really need it since you have Tinky to search. Yeah. But Barrage will give you a lot more advantage. Okay. But a hundred bucks a card at this recording, I I don't know. As of this recording, yes. As of this recording. Okay, he busts up the combo. He's getting, he's recycling all his stuff back. Yeah, I mean like, oh yeah, I kind of forgot that the combo uh, he put he threw that combo there. Yeah, that since was like the the, one of the first things he did. Uh, here's the funny thing, like this this um game has been going for quite a while that we forgot that this is like the like the third turn of this entire game. Right, right, right. This rolls second turn. Yeah. Yeah, man. This is like the there's the one thing about the meta I I love is watching how they play against each other. Yes. About to see how technical they can get to get each other out, and these like, in these um in a way short duels because the turns mm -hmm. are really short, but the time in each turn is actually very long. Yeah. <clears throat> And I guess it's a really good thing to watch other people replay too, because then you can put yourself. Oh, uh, Gaku got Samurai just came out. Yeah. So he's gonna go for the OTK now. Yeah, I, I guess he's trying to go for the OTK. If he can get rid of that back row, he can run over that Gamma Seal easily, and then he can just begin his OTK. He, I'm pretty sure you should be able to do it. Wait, wait, wait. Be well, what Gaku got Samurai is effect again? Uh, attacks twice. It's basically the the what was it the ninja X Y Z? Oh yeah, just blade armor ninja. There you go. It's pretty much the blade armored ninja. He attacks twice, and I think it's at nineteen. But let me see here. Uh, Bobby's still at eight thousand, so he can withstand a few attacks. He should go into um, red eyes flare metal dragon. <laughs> No, I, now that I think about it, how much um, Zodiac like do, how many effects they go off. I think a uh, Flare Metal Dragon can actually like burn them through. Yeah, that's the, that's how I, I took out Roll once. Was it Roll? No, yeah, no, never mind. It wasn't Roll. I took out Bobby, uh, which is the one that's dueling with the red sleeves. They both have red sleeves. <laughs> they both do. Yeah. That, oh, that's right. They do. <laughs> I got confused with the, the the extra deck, the purple. Yeah. But anyways, um. The Cosmo Blazer Man. Yeah. So I dueled him, and I ended up making him FTK himself with Flare Metal Dragon. Because because he really just needed to get his play off. And he forgot that it was out on the field. Because <laughs> I told him about it. I said, okay, Flare Metal Dragon, there, it's right there. I just summoned it. He said, okay, good. And then he started going off, and I was just watching him. like, all right, you're, you, you do know you're keeping track of all of this, right? And he's like, oh, keeping track of what? And then he had to go back and count it. 
and uh, he had FTK'd himself by then. Yeah. Oh, wow, Lester Pendulum. Haven't seen that guy in a while. And Kieran. Oh, oh shit, he must have gotten really desperate if he had to stack to um, scale with those two. Yeah. Because, like, Lester Pendulum, he kind of, like, you kind of don't want him on the scales unless you're planning on popping the other scale to search. Right, right, right. But then afterwards, you kind of want to get rid of him as soon as possible. Yeah, because then he's just in the way. Yeah. Because it's, he's also, what, scale 5, right? Yeah, he's a scale 5. That's such an awkward scale. Like, if you if you have anything uh, below, uh, like a 3 or... Uh, if you have 3 and below, you can actually make it work because you can pinch on some in 4. But if you get yourself... If you, if you, but you run a high level deck, you're screwed if um, less pendulums in your scale. Okay, he uses a centric to pop the lightning kaiju. Okay. So what does he have out? He has a. Uh, oh, he's gonna go in the. Oh, he's running over. Uh, he just rode, ran over Dryden. And Dryden, there you go. But the thing is, like Dryden had no attack, so he just that was almost felt like a direct attack. It is a direct, pretty much a direct attack. He just bypassed Gagaga Samurai. Now, Samurai is at 19. I don't know how big Bombuku is. I uh, think he just passed the turnover. Yeah, Bombuku is like 17. And yeah. I think this, um, the other metaphor, this guy, he's like, I think he's like either 17 or 18. Yeah, so he couldn't run over. Yeah. Metaphors can't get over 19. Yeah. I'm so, joking. Don't mm -hmm. get mad at me. Um, oh, wait, he's using the Kaiju's second effect. Banish it. You know, I l notice a lot of cards are getting that effect. It's a lot of spell cards. Like spell and trap. Oh, if you're in the graveyard, banish. There it is. Yeah. Uh, which ones were the the first two traps? It was uh, what's it called? Uh, breakthrough skill and what was the other one? It was the poor man's breakthrough skill. Uh, it was like skill something. Oh, uh, skill skill shot or something like that. It was like, was it something like that? Yeah. Like you banish it and then you just you use breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it was breakthrough in the grave and then you activate. It was pretty much like a poor man's breakthrough. And back when Breakthrough was going for like six or seven bucks each, um, people would run this other card. I can't remember what it was called. Oh boy! After oh, this is after Bobby. Um, after Bobby got Kaiju, he vanities, and now Raul tries to run over the uh, Metaphors, <laughs> hoping that it would uh, get rid of um, vanities but it does not because the metaphor hits the extra deck other than the grave yeah yeah and so it, that's that, that uh, was actually pretty smart he just got a free 3k beater just like that oh fossil dino blows it up but guess what he goes it, to his graveyard vanity he still stays can't, he still can't get over vanities with that yeah that <laughs> Oh well, fuck! I, such cheeky plays, dude. The thing about vanity, I remember when that came out. Everybody's all like, "Oh no, vanity is, is not good. It's not good." And then like a uh, like a uh, tournament later, vanity is great. It it's only the best thing to happen to Yu-Gi-Oh ever. Yeah, and it's... then like half the community is just calling it cancer. Yeah, because like at this point, they're just now at this point they're gone back to saying vanity sucks. Yeah, yeah, but no, vanity is still good. Vanity is single handedly single handedly stops decks. Yeah. Oh, oh stop entire archetypes. You're playing blue eyes, flip over vanities, you're gonna have a hard time. Oh shit. Unless you're running twin twisters, that is. Okay now Oh, what did he get? Is that oh okay. Terror Top, but then the thing is that um I see a few more He said I think he said it um Barrage, but then when it came to Bobby's turn, Bobby um uses twin twister to pop I I guess the face down barrier and then I think his own vanities. Right. Okay, you know. I think Oh, there he goes. Pendulum summon. Dang. Yeah, that, Wait, that, how did he stop Terra Top? No, Terra Top is effect couldn't go off. Because its effect goes off when it's special summon. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't special summon, it was normal. <sighs> okay, he uses a centric. Why did, he, why did he throw it down? I don't know. I think he just wanted to get some damage in. Oh. And then that's and then this game right there. That should be game. That's it. Yeah. Oh, right. wow. Damn. You see here. I have, I have to say, like... Even though Zodiac is is on everybody's on to watch list, right? Metaphors is still kicking ass. Metaphors is still a really good deck. Yeah, <sighs> just like Black Wings.